Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to take you through my everyday, no foundation makeup routine. I have gone through so many makeup routines and this is the one that I think looks best on my skin and maybe it'll work for you. So a little background on my skin. I have super dry skin, like basically eczema. I have had eczema breakouts on my skin before on my face and it is the worst. So I have found that whenever I am doing any type of makeup, it tends to roll off my skin. Thus, no foundation, unfortunately, because I love, love doing my makeup. But I honestly think I just kind of look better without a lot of makeup. We're going to start off this routine with a primer. I am using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is honestly hit or miss for me sometimes it works on my skin and then sometimes it doesn't sometimes it is incredibly patchy other times it is beautiful so i'm hoping this time it's beautiful honestly i don't think a primer is that important or maybe i haven't tried out like an amazing primer i don't really see a difference on my skin so much sometimes i actually just like to use no primer and just use my lotion so now i'm going to go in with my concealer i use the rare beauty concealer this works best on my skin it has amazing coverage but it is not drying and it lasts all day when you're not using a foundation and you're just using concealer i would recommend to use a lot of it not a crazy amount like foundation but definitely putting this where you would usually put foundation honestly i have always kind of felt like foundation was just kind of like a step you could definitely skip over in your makeup routine people may disagree and that's totally fine like whatever works best for your skin it's kind of a universal experience if you have dry skin and eczema you're probably not going to use foundation oh, look how beautiful that concealer is so this is just with one layer obviously you can go back in and add more to where you want a little more coverage but i just I don't know. I love a light makeup. I think it looks so good. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I am just using this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. This is just the eyebrow pencil I've been using for a long time. It does the job and it's literally $3. I cannot think of a makeup product that is $3 except for this because i actually really really like it and i don't see the point to buy something more expensive if something cheaper does the exact same thing so it's been a journey with my eyebrows i used to do them really dark really bold i kind of figured out that it doesn't look the best with my face so i've switched to a more natural lighter eyebrow thinner eyebrow next i'm going in with my nyx clear brow gel i like this product it is not my favorite though i think the anastasia brow gel is amazing this leaves a cast unfortunately but it does hold your brows up very well after this we are going to do contour bronzer now this has been a struggle for me since i have dry skin i have been inclined to use cream products and so i've been using a cream contour but i found that it rolls off my skin it's so frustrating but i decided to try a powder contour i was like well maybe that'll work better on top of a cream product but i found this and it turns out it is so amazing it's my favorite so i am such a bronzer girly i layer this up So like going against the makeup rules, I guess, like having a powder product over the creams without setting it, that's such a no-no, but I love how it looks on my skin. Some girls look amazing with a lot of makeup on. I just don't, like I just don't. It doesn't matter how amazing the makeup is, I just don't look good at it. So that's why I do this type of makeup. I used to do a lot of heavy makeup and I was wondering why I wasn't looking the best. A little something I like to do is use the bronzer again and use it as a little bit of eyeshadow. I love when makeup kind of matches. So like, I love how the color of the eyeshadow is the same color as the bronzer. And I also just like to go in with my fingers and kind of blend it out. So honestly, I love how it looks right now. I don't even need mascara, you know what I mean? Like, it just looks that good. But we're gonna do a little bit of mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. 
So I've been on the hunt for a perfect all around good mascara. I've tried out a bunch of recommendations and honestly all the recommendations don't work the best for me. And so I went back to a classic which is the Too Faced one you know what i'm talking about except i was shopping for it in person at ulta and i saw they had a brown one and i was kind of skeptical but i was like maybe it'll look really nice on my eyelashes maybe it'll look a little more natural and so i picked it up literally the packaging is so pretty but beside that this is an amazing mascara it lasts all day and it keeps your lashes curled and it's pretty natural if you layer this up, I'm sure you could get a more dramatic effect, but I just think it's perfect with just one coat. And I apply mascara to my lashes on the very end. I don't go to the base because that is actually what makes your lashes way down. And just applying it to the ends of your lashes will keep the curl. I also want to speak to my girlies who just don't look good in a lot of makeup or they don't look their best because that is me and honestly sometimes I feel left out and I feel sad that you know every girl's like doing their makeup and doing a full routine and you know like I want the products that everybody else is using and everybody loves you know but I just don't use most of the products so I don't end up getting them. I feel kind of left out, you know? I don't have a long makeup routine. Like, I want a long makeup routine. I love makeup, I love doing my makeup. So I wanna to speak to every girl who feels the same way as me. It's okay, it's actually a blessing. <laughs> and you don't have to be like everybody else. So this is what the lashes are looking like. I'm going to curl them again. I know a lot of people are against that. <laughs> curling the eyelashes after the mascara but I wait for it to dry and I think it curls the best like that so while they are drying let's do our lips I bet you can guess what lip product I'm gonna use yes the Clinique black honey it's I like natural things okay I got a little too excited This is one of my favorite products ever. It looks so natural on the lips, but you can also build it up to a darker tone for like fall or something. But I just love how it looks with one coat, a little bit of lip gloss over it. So this is the finished product of the No Foundation Makeup Routine. I'm telling you guys, curl after you put your mascara on. Okay, game changer, life changer. But I'm going to show you guys what this look is like in natural sunlight so as you can see it is clean this is once again what works best for me what works best for my skin and you can tell thank you so much for watching this video i hope i could help you in some way and i hope you enjoyed this makeup routine if you have any recommendations or anything in the comments let me know in the comments make sure to subscribe if you would like to see more content other than that i will see you guys in my next video